everybody, welcome Squad Squad and welcome to Slav Guns at SHOT Show 2022. Uh, obviously, there are many types of different gun owners, there are competitive shooters, there's hunters, there are people going to the range, and quite a few are, are reloaders as well. And one thing we all have in common, we just have a mess in our range bags. I'm here at a company that I've learned to love over the past couple of months, Clam Tainer, and I'm here with Jay, and we're gonna be talking about various solutions for every gun owner. So first and, form first and foremost, Jay, thank you for having me here, and thank you for letting me play with a lot of your products, because I freaking love them. <laughs> well, we freaking love them too, and that's why you should buy them. Yeah. Uh, well, well, what's interesting is that even though, like, the first time I'm getting my hands on a lot of the products, the first time I actually heard of it, seen your products, I didn't even know it was you, was looking at ammunition by a different manufacturer. Okay. So I guess you guys make them for those, but now I guess you're making products that anybody can buy themselves. Yes, we, we sure are. We make a whole line of ammunition containers along with other uh, products using a 100% made in the USA factory and, and materials. Uh, what makes our ammunition containers work and our other containers work so nicely is a simple little pin and a hole and when you go, you know it's closed. The ammunition is kept right where it needs to be. You can have, you're picking and choosing. We cover everybody that's shooting anything from 223 all the way up to the big heavy caliber magnums as well as shotgun. Uh, this is a wonderful little pal to have in the woods when you're going hunting called the Ammo Buddy. Holds five rounds nice and securely. Close it, put it in your pocket. You can open it one hand. With a little bit of practice, which I'll probably flub up here, you can even get a round out with one hand. So it just has been very popular for hunters. Uh, we also make a line for the water fowlers where you can put 25 rounds of 20 gauge or 12 gauge into a wonderful reusable container so when you're out there in the boat and it's just pouring your box isn't falling apart and you just open up grab what you need click that back down again and you're good for the next set okay. so, so here's a question there's a anyone who's a reloader basically we're used to those uh, blue containers where you put the rounds they just like shuffle around but at least they're stackable so What's the advantage to going with the clamtainer systems and I guess why should people use them? Well, uh, first off, they're clear. So for the reloading families out there, you can look in here and you'll see we got some different stuff. We got some blue tip 300 weatherby mag, I think, and we've got some other stuff in here with a different bullet. Uh, and I can look at this and go, okay, I got 18 rounds, I don't have 20 rounds, and I've got those many of that uh, recipe and so many of that okay. recipe. Uh, they interlock stack. I don't have another one right here, but, but they, I'll include a picture because I do have some of these. Yeah, okay. They interlock stack. So when you stack these up, uh, you can stack these up and you can actually put them at a 30 degree angle and they don't slide apart. So they're not sliding all over the place. The rounds are protected individually. They don't make contact with anything else. They're not rattling around. If you've got some, yeah. got some really important things going on here, you don't want it going bang, 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 yeah. bang, bang. Yeah, and that's actually one thing that I appreciate. So I started recently going into long range shooting and now it's different than, let's say for example, handgun ammo, I really personally don't care as long as it doesn't make too much of a rattle while I'm driving. But with precision rifle ammo, I mean, one of the biggest concerns is because we generally don't crimp the neck or we have a very light crimp, we don't want the round to go sliding up and down in the case. And even though I have some of the large Magnum cases, you go over a bump, the thing just jumps up or if the bullet's face down, that bullet can easily go right back into the cartridge. So what I, when I look at this, I'm like, whoa, this is awesome because it'll actually hold the cartridge and I don't have to worry about my rounds hitting the top of the box. Yes, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the USA rifle team that travels around the world shooting competitively, competitively has adopted our clamtainers across the board. They have said, and it's on our website, it's the best protection that they have found for their yeah. ultra critical ammunition. Yeah. Uh, so what rifle, uh, what calibers are these available in? So I see you have some containers for some large magnums. I see the new 50 round boxes for, looks like 40 or 45, 45? 45 ACP. Um, and so what what capacities and I guess what cartridges? So what's really nice about this, and some people uh, might be, get confused, is that 
you don't have to buy a different box for every caliber that you got in your gun safe. The way that we hold and secure the rounds. I'm sorry, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> so the way we hold the rounds in place is we're we're securing. You can see little fingers here. We're securing around the case itself. So as most all you reloaders out there would know, your case is going to be have similar diameter yeah. when you're in 30 caliber. Yeah. So like, let's say even 6.5 Freedmoor, 308, it's going to be the same parent case. It's going to be the same thing. So our 30 caliber ammo buddy here, 20 count, will hold anything 243 to 30-06. All that stuff in between, the 100 million round, the different flavors in between. Once you get above 30-06, well, then you get to the big guy, and that'll handle your magnums up to the 300 Weatherby, yeah. the 375 H and H, 300 Win Mags, and so forth. 300 Win Mag. Um, yep. Is there a specific, or do you know if this will hold 338 Lapua? Uh, it will barely. Okay. It it's snug. We're going to be coming out with a, that's another going into the real big boy case that we are going to be bringing out. But you can you can do it. Matter okay. of fact, there's some right over there. Okay. Uh, so then we talked about the rifle. What about on the handgun side? Handgun side, we pretty much have everything covered uh, from nine millimeter. 38 Special, 357, 45 ACP. Uh, I'm missing some ones in there, but it, okay. the, the stuff that gets shot a lot, we have all that covered. Okay. Um, and I guess capacities are all going to be like 50 round boxes, or are you going to have smaller ones as well? Or do you have smaller ones? Uh, I think. I think most of our stuff is 50 rounds when okay. it comes to handgun. Mm -hmm. And if you're loading less than 50, well, I guess if you're reloading 50 handgun stuff you're doing it in packs 100 because that's what primers are and otherwise you're just wasting time so you'll get those cases i guess one question so i mean we talk about reloaders but i mean would there be a use for this for somebody who's just buying factory ammo oh absolutely if you look at i don't reload sorry but i have about five thousand people or dear friends who do i'm not patient enough ask anybody that knows me <laughs> but anyhow if you look at my gun safe i take it out of the original packaging and I put it in the clamtainers. It takes up less space, it's well protected, I know what I have, so I, I, you won't find original equipment boxes in my gun safe. Okay, and roughly what are the price points or I guess, is it gonna be cost prohibitive for a reloader or a gun owner? No, not at all. We have, we have different price breaks on our website depending on what your volumes is, but give or take a $2 bill is gonna okay. cover virtually everything. Okay, and I guess the other question is, how long are these gonna last? Because I mean, obviously, it almost like, you, you, as a hand loader, you're comparing it to those plastic polymer boxes, but then the biggest thing that goes wrong with them is the hinge just ends up breaking, or right. you take it out and you shoot in the winter time and it just becomes so brittle and then the thing just breaks. Um, is this something that's going to last, I guess, a lifetime, or is there a shelf life to these? Uh, there's not actually a shelf life. The, what, the, what will fail eventually is the hinge. Okay. But we have gone over 150 cycles, which is uh, times 20. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of reloading right there. Yeah. I don't want to try to do that in my head. 3,000 rounds, and with no problems, and no issues. And as to the plastic, we're using a very high grade of impact modified plastic specifically designed to be able to withstand drop tests in the cold to 30 degrees below zero. Okay. So it's a good grade of plastic. Very, very cool. So I mean, I can definitely see these stackings is saving time on the shelf. And I absolutely know that there are people who are both uh, hand loaders for some calibers and then they're gonna buy ammo for others. And there are some people just anal enough that all the containers do need to look the same. So they will take the factory boxes out and they will put it at this. But once again, I mean, just seeing, thinking about it in my head, a lot of the factory containers that you get, some of them are good and snug. Others, they just wobble around in the yes. case and that could definitely lead to issues there. Yes, it absolutely can because what they're kind of defaulting to a you're dropping it. The reason for that, talk a little bit of geometry. The reason for that is you're just dropping that round into in a factory case into a hole, right? It's not gripping it. Yeah. So as you get a variety of sizes and the, and and they're putting more of a variety of rounds into the same thing, you're getting more and more issues. You got to get the default to the one that you can barely get all the way down to the one that's rattling around in there. We're not doing that. We're grabbing hold of that case and it's not it's not bouncing around. Okay. Like I say, not bouncing. <laughs> Okay, that's scary. I'm getting anxiety. I'm getting anxiety. That those rounds are going to drop. All right. So we talked about ammunition, but obviously yes. ammunition is not the only thing in my range bag. I have other crap. Yes. Um, I see you have containers for that as well. Yes, we certainly do. 
we have the best battery container, we think, because one, you see how easily I opened it. I can take out one battery and I can shake this around and the other ones don't all fall over. I can take out another battery, another battery, I can go, I can drop it, it's not opening it up. Uh, so great way to store your batteries. Uh, we have ooh, shooting glass. Okay, case. I know I should use it, but like I'm one of those horrible ones, I just throw it in my bag. Or better yet, I have like a pair of, in one bag, a pair in another, a pair somewhere in the car. And you know, it probably if I used a case for them, they would probably last a little bit longer. Yeah, it's, it's an inexpensive way of protecting some okay. typically pretty expensive gear. And it keeps the dust and everything, I, it's, it works great. So you just book, and this will accept just about any safety glasses out there. We specifically, when we designed all this, we do all our own design and tooling in-house. We bought a lot of safety glasses to make sure that they'd work with virtually any shape and size. And apparently I see that some people actually clean their guns, and I see you have a container there for cleaning supplies and patches. Yes. Um, I'll tell you what, so like one of my biggest pains in the butt is, and I, I just, I'm just thinking about it ahead of time, I have, I can smell the hops number nine in my bag because the lid didn't go on all the way and my entire bag reeks of hops number nine. <laughs> It makes a wonderful skin lotion too, I've found. So. Well, one thing I was told when I became a gun owner, hops number nine should be a cologne for men. Oh, <laughs> without a doubt, without a doubt. Yes, yeah, so like, I'm telling you, if you were in my gun area, the house, I don't have any of my patches cleaning things in a Ziploc bag, you put them in there. Now, if it falls on the floor, you pick it up, yeah. they're not all over the place. And I can do it, again, I can do this one-handed, which is really nice when you think about it. So you're cleaning your gun, it's like, ah, you're, you're holding on to your gun and you need another, and you can gr open this up, grab it, do it, close it. If you knock it on the floor, it doesn't make any difference. Ziploc bag, you gotta, I don't know anybody that can successfully open a Ziploc with one bag. I'm doing it like this, I'm <laughs> biting into it. Well, I mean, the other thing I'm also thinking about, just going back to our reloading bench, I mean, it's not just primers, it's not just bullets. I mean, we have a ton of accessories from trimmers to different case gauges, all of that stuff. I mean, like, it's just hanging out there, and most of the time, those original containers just way too big and bulky, and there's no good way of storing them. And I guess you can use these containers for that as well. Oh, yes, and there's a whole variety of sizes. Folks, you're just seeing a little smattering of what you'll find on our website when it comes to product offers, offerings and sizes. Okay. Now, obviously, Clamtainer is not just focused on gun accessories, and I know one of the other products I saw, and I instantly saw, and I was like, holy hell, this is awesome. Um, and especially for somebody who was, I guess, quote unquote, a city slicker when we were in New Jersey, uh, we moved from a, a condo to a house that's quote unquote on a farm, and we have two acres, and we have uh, little critters that sometimes run around. And the biggest thing was like, as soon, if one ran into the garage, I mean, obviously we've been there for about three years, so it's a lot better now, but the first time a little critter ran in the house, I started getting anxiety. Not that the fact that there's a mouse there, it's the fact that when the mouse trap goes off, that I'm gonna have to pick it up and deal with it. <laughs> that does not make you unique, I'll tell you that much. So yes, we, uh, we invented what's absolutely the world's best mouse trap. Again, everything you see here, folks, is 100% made in the USA. And the way this works is the same little release mechanism right here. You just open that up, put some peanut butter right there, set the trap, close the door, put it in the corner, in comes mouse, kaput. And they're kaput every time because they come yeah. in head first. They can't drag the trap away and die under the fridge with it. Yeah. If you don't get back to the trap for a couple of days, maybe it's in a cabin or a car, and the mouse goes liquid, all the mess is in here. What we'd like you to do is throw the whole thing away and buy another one. Yeah. I'm cheap, so I just hose it out and get back in the game yeah. all over again. I guess that's definitely going to leave an option in there. So the first couple of years, I can guarantee you, that would just be like taking it this way, throwing it in the garbage without even looking at it. Uh, I think over the years, I've gotten progressively a lot better with it. And then like, okay, there we go. You'd be able to possibly reuse it if it's still there. But I mean, the yeah. biggest thing is like, yeah, you're right. It, you don't have to worry about what happens to it afterwards. And I guess the, co the competitor to this for the people who don't want to see what happens is going to be the poison. But guess what? I mean, the, the mouse still dies. Yeah. It's just going to be out of sight when it does, but it's still going to be the smell and stink is going to be there. Right. That's why, I mean, I guess this is going to be the most humane way of going about it. This is the French guillotine. The other one's the Liberia tar pits. That's the difference. 
All right. So the next question, uh, I guess, what's the availability on these products? Is, is everything here out and people can buy and where can we find it? Absolutely. All of this product line is out. It's in stock. Clamtainer.com is the place to go, which is clamtainer.com. And you can place your orders. We'll take it right now. There we go. So hopefully that was educational. It definitely was for me. It was great to be able to discuss this and just to see that doom box in action because we set them out, unfortunately. Unfortunately for you, but fortunately for me, none of the traps went off yet. So. <laughs> then you're mice free. <laughs> yes, we are. At least inside the house we are. So, Jay, thank you very much for taking oh, the time to meet so with me. Thank you so much. appreciate um, you If you by. have any questions on any of these products, leave them in the comments below. And either myself or somebody from Kalam Tamer will be able to answer those for you. As always, thank you for watching. Keep on squatting, and we'll see you in the next video linked up here. All right. Bye, guys.